up YouTube it's your boy Matt back here uh, for vlog number three um, but it seems like we have a first dispatch in the making tonight we have five centimeters of fluffy white powder falling down on Ross St. Chris Pam's new runs a right in the heart of our servicing zone so I am going to hop in the shower this is way earlier than what we anticipated we are still not ready but it is time to put the plan into motion it is time to get gear prepared time to insert tablets time to make sure that we are ready to roll so I'm gonna hop in the shower blow the stink off me and then we're gonna get some shit done all right guys we are into the shower we are feeling clean we are feeling ready we're gonna go get my m5 set up I gotta add phone mounts. I gotta make sure Folosoft is ready to roll in there. We got right now on the back end of things, Folosoft is currently being integrated as we speak and we're adding in the last couple of customers, making sure our routes are finalized. And then we are ready for our first dispatch. We're out here. We just got picked up and done there with the, uh, the M6 101. So we dropped off some brand new wipers to help people, you know, see shit. Added def. To the tractor as well now we're gonna run home make sure full soft is a-okay ready to roll and then from there we should be kind of chilling so i'm getting a call from willie you guys are gonna get to meet him sorry for the steering wheel you guys are gonna get to meet willie uh we call him willard dr snow baby Oh, Dr. Snow. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure. Filled with the scary surprise, straight from me and live forever or get married. How many how driveways are you doing? 200. <laughs> Rookie numbers. <laughs> Uh, Willard is the M6 operator, so I'm gonna pick up this phone call. Maybe you guys can meet him later on today. Currently got Willard, he's out staking. I am currently onboarding new clients into our Follow Soft, Follow Track software so nothing really fun to record right now i'm gonna be just plugging and chugging on the old lappy top you know the weather's being super unpredictable right now i don't know if we're gonna go out if we're gonna break trigger or not if there is enough snow on the ground for city plow trucks to dispatch then we will be dispatching as well treat it as a practice run and do ends of driveways and skip gravel all right guys we just finished inserting the last batch of clients into folosoft so folosoft is up to date tablets are ready to go roots are built that's really just the bulk of it. The tractors are naturally pretty well ready. Worst case scenario, like I said, absolute worst case, guys, we will dispatch in the morning, alerts active, and we will do ends of driveways and avoid gravel. Our cutting edges are actually down the highway about an hour in Moncton, New Brunswick, but where we're only gonna be doing ends of driveways in the worst case scenario, that shouldn't be too, too bad of a thing. I think the more important thing is that we make a presence should we be required to. Um, the snowfall really, on the top end, we're looking at five centimeters. We're looking at one centimeter this evening mixed with rain, one to three centimeters overnight, and then one centimeter in the morning as the temperatures rise. This evening, we're gonna run out. We're gonna take the loader off the M5111 just in case you know we need it. And we are also going to drive our route in the pickup truck just to make sure that I kind of know where I'm going. Anyway, I'll pick you guys up when we are on the way to take the loader off of the M5111. <laughs> All right, guys, fire up the old M5 here. Got to go take this loader off and then empty out some garbage, pick up some shear bolts. All right, guys, we're just going to go bring this M5 down there. Uh, we're going to walk her down the road and then we're going to take the loader off and get this bad girl set up for our first potential dispatch. Pick you guys up when we're there. Back 
All right, guys. So we have the M5. We're leaving our HQ now. And everything is kind of going to plan, except I don't know where I just dropped the lock. Found it. All right. Lock it up. All right, guys. So here is our M5 111. I know you guys haven't seen this thing in a minute. Um, got her all rigged up. The only thing left to do to it is we have a custom front weight that's going to come out here. And then we also have some fuel cells that are going to line there. And then we also need to add the cutting edges. But just give you guys a little bit of a look at her. I know it's dark out, but this will be what most of the snow blowing footage is in this winter. Crawl back inside and let's, uh, let's bounce on down the road. What is up YouTube? We are hitting the highway right now. Pick up our cutting edges. Pick you guys up once we are there. I know you don't. All right guys, we are just pulling up here to Chore Guys, Moncton, New Brunswick. Throw them up on the screen. Uh, a company that I have very close partners with, very close mentors with Ross. And actually, we're coming up on one of his rigs right here. They run conventional blowers. Um, but as you can tell guys, they're getting completely ready for this winter season. I look up to this guy a lot, so let's get it. Turn the bass real loud, lay up, lay up. Tell them hoes back down, lay up, lay up. Tell every single person on the world is hating on me that I'm taking names down on this little paper dummy. You can run, but you can't hide. I'm that motherfucker, and it's damn time. Float like a bird, and I sting like a bee. All right, guys. We have our cutting edges picked up. Uh, we just called Maritime Fasteners and we have all of our bolts. So we are going to fly down the road, get all the bolts. Um, we're gonna stop at the M6, drop off its cutting edge, its bolts, shear bolts, uh, plow bolts, all those goofy shit. Swing back up to the M5, do the same thing there. We have our brand new cutting edge. We're gonna install that later on, probably tomorrow. Um, and then over here, we just have a bunch of the shear bolts that we picked up. So we got tons of hardware in there, ready to go for the first dispatch. And then up inside the cab here, as you can tell, we kind of got everything ready. We got our full of soft mounts, spinner knobs, all of that stuff. And then we're just gonna add some covers to that blower. It'll be a great backup blower. And then hopefully we can get ourselves some Pronos or some Normans. All right, guys, we are almost to building B to drop off the last cutting edge. Welcome to Building B, Mother Truckers. I'm just going to try to set up a couple GoPros so you guys can have good visual of our dispatch. Um, and we got, of course, the lovely floor bolts. You know, anyone in the blue collar world understands that we just got tons of these stupid bolts that we don't really understand <laughs> where they come from. A GoPro mount here. GoPro mount here. GoPro mount here, GoPro mount there. It's hard to see you all, another GoPro mount there. And if you zoom in right here, GoPro mount there, that's gonna be a cool shot. Um, next to us, we got our Komatsu uh, 120, great commercial rig. But I'm gonna keep setting up this, uh, this M5 so I can get some bomb ass footage for you guys, pick you guys up once we're done here. So we need. And we are going to be adding a cutting edge. So basically, we are adding a cutting edge to this Kubota K92 inverted snowblower. Um, we got the tractor warming up on the inside here. Um, give it a little bit of a workout, has been started a little bit. And then, yeah, so let's see what we can do. It is, well, it's, it's really not that cold. I think it's just the time of year I'm not used to it yet. Of course, that's the one time I decide that I'm gonna throw on these uh, these cutting edges. Have the cutting edge set up. We're gonna prop it up on the other side. I just needed to warm my hands up. 
once we have the holes lined up, we're going to slowly drop the blower kind of on top of it. Um, and then add, uh, add the bolts and uh, call her even even. Now we're good now. I don't got much room. I'm gonna have to spin this PTO so I can get a better angle on it. I'm gonna cut it there. I'll pick up where I left off. Anyway, I'll pick you guys up on the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Keep kicking ass. You guys are the shit. 71 like the Z71 package on the Duramax. Yeah, you know this shit slapping. Boots laced up, bury it to my boot cuts. Big tires don't get stuck up on the little ruts. Country rap, please don't label this as that. I can rap, but I just don't need that crap. You can do your best to try to classify me, but this shit goes hard for everyone like me. Bye, have a beautiful time.